Shalom Israel. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I still got, got that uh, perfect uh, golf swing. I uh, remember when I used to go tee off with some of my friends over there. But I just wanted to like uh, start this uh, today's uh, video uh, podcast on uh, the lighter notes. It's not every time that uh, you know you're you're serious about stuff. So I'm going to be adjusting this uh, camera from time to time to make sure that uh, I capture myself very well. Um, so today I'm going to try to um, uh, discuss uh, a certain uh, video that I saw trending on uh, social media um, regarding a certain uh, Nigerian pastor named uh, Sia Wong. Uh, his uh, real name is a uh, prophet uh, Andrew Ijimadu. He's a uh, 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 he's also known as Sia One. I guess that's his uh, prophetic name. Um, somebody uh, uh, put up a, a short text message on uh, Facebook um, that uh, most of the people that have been cr critical or criticizing. Uh, this particular uh, prophet are Nigerians. So the the prophet uh, was uh, in Zambia. He studied his ministry in Zambia, and then uh, was deported to South Africa. So I was just wondering. He's probably he has a probably he has a South African passport, or South Africa received him uh, as a sort of. Uh, you know, making it look like it's Zambians' uh, loss and South Africans' gain. But I, I, I wanted to, um, uh, you know, you know, wait into this uh, controversy because uh, of how our, you know, you know, people, our Nigerians are getting it all wrong. Um, and I know some of you might ask, uh, well, you, as a Jewish leader, of a, as an Igbo Jewish leader, what is your interest in a, a Christian prophet? Um, I am saying to you that uh, the first church that was opened in Jerusalem in ancient Israel was populated by Jews. So there's, uh, there, so, so, Christianity is, you know, came out of Judaism, and I personally was an ordained prophet. I was an ordained, you know, pastor in the church. I have not relinquished my ordination. I've not relinquished my prophetic call. I've not relinquished my anointing, because this is uh, what is referred to as uh, the covenant of everlasting priesthood. Once you are a prophet, you are a prophet. Uh, uh, there is no place uh, in the Bible that uh, any prophet was. Uh, relinquished of his position. They, they remain prophet until death. Um, so, so it's important for me to, um, you know, make this video to um, remind Nigerians that uh, we need to vigorously defend our very own, our, our you know, uh, men of God or citizens who are in other countries, especially you know, prophets, pastors, bishops, apostles, uh, you know, um, clergymen, because they, they, there is a call over their lives for this particular prophecy to leave the shores of Nigeria, to go set up a church in Zambia and providing a spiritual uh, nourishment to the Zambian people is remarkable. He, he could have stayed in Nigeria to, to set up a church where there are more resources, where there is a, a large critical mass of almost 200 million people in our population. But he decided to go to Zambia to set up a, a ministry because that's where God uh, uh, you know, gave him his call. God asked him to go to Zambia and, uh, and, and lift up the spirits of the people and uh, preach the gospel to the people. 
provide knowledge because it says for my people are uh, are blind my people for for uh, are perished my people perish for lack of knowledge so uh, in, this is not the first time i'm seeing uh, you know nigerians you know criticizing their prophets who are doing very extraordinary job in foreign lands and that's uh, uh, because once god gives you a call you 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 cannot run away from your call that's what Jonah tried to do in the Bible. God asked Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh to deliver the people, to bring about deliverance because the people were very corrupt. They were, they were you know, wallowing in sin. So uh, instead of Paul, uh, instead of uh, Jonah accepting his, uh, his uh, call, accepting the, the anointing that God placed over his life, he traveled to the opposite direction. And ended up in the in the belly of the fish. That's what happens when you reject your call. You cannot you cannot run away from your call. God sent that young man to Zambia to go and save lives, to go and nourish the people's spiritual lives. But then they had to deport him to South Africa. From uh, um, the information. That I received because I've been scouring the internet to uh, do some research about what actually happened. It seems to me that uh, he had uh, he had a misunderstanding with the political and business elite of Zambia, with whom he was uh, uh, having uh, some kind of a uh, relationship. You know, they they had some kind of a, you know cordial interaction in which uh, he must have supported uh, the political aspiration of uh, some of the uh, political heavyweights in Zambia. Then at some point, things didn't go well. Uh, in his own uh, uh, personal account, or his own self-report, he said uh, uh, he was supposed to, you know, um, you know, help deliver crude oil from Angola, uh, but, uh, you know, it didn't work out. Maybe somebody tried to shortchange him. But, but yeah, because in this kind of controversy, you never get to hear the full details. People will come to social media and, and say what is convenient and say what uh, they just want people to hear. You're not going to get all the you know, salacious uh, you know, details. So, um, so I think uh, he ran foul of uh, some of his, uh, uh, you know, some of his commitments or some of the agreements and then they decided to send him packing to South Africa. You know, in Africa, the, you know, our, our, our politicians are still not mature. They, they, they still cannot uh, see themselves as people who can allow a space for the, you know, for the proliferation of uh, uh, dissenting views, visions and voices. They, 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 they still want to maintain uh, that, uh, you know, power of patriarchy, you know, hedge money, multiple layers of dominance, you know, uh, you know against the, the list of these. They, 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 they can't allow uh, uh, multiple uh, expression of, uh, you know, dissent. They, they, don't, they, they, they want you to, to do as they say, as that uh, prophet will, uh, will say, say, do as I say, uh, prophecy. So I guess he didn't uh, understand the, 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 the space, the, the political space uh, in which he was operating in Gambia, and then that's how they, they threw him out. But I, I, I am not uh, making this video to, um, I'm not discussing the nitty gritty or the, uh, the details of, uh, uh, you know, why he was, uh, you know, sent, you know, parking to South Africa. Uh, the the uh, the central motive of my video is uh, uh, is is the reason why uh, Nigerians cannot come to the defense of their of their pastors and prophets who are doing a remarkable extraordinary work in foreign lands. You never get to see many Af Af many Africans from different countries uh, make a headway in the uh, you know religious fair and space in Nigeria because uh, it's too competitive. There are, there are, there's hardly any corner of uh, Lagos you go to where you're not going to find a religious um, 
a religious uh, setting. It's either a, a church or a mosque or a synagogue. So for Nigerians to leave the shores of Nigeria to go to uh, these uh, foreign lands and do well for themselves and propagate the gospel and then make themselves credible, uh, you know, it's, uh, quite, it's something that uh, we need to honor. It's something that we need to, uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, praise them for. It's something we need to congratulate them for, for, you know, succeeding where so many people have failed. So, so the, the, the guy was sent <coughs> to, uh, to South Africa, where it seems to me that he's doing much better than he was doing in, in Zambia. This is an irony. You are deporting somebody from a place that doesn't have as much opportunities and options and openings to a place that is a, a first world country. And, and you know, the, the, the Zambian authorities got it all wrong because they were sending him to a place where people were yearning for his, uh, you know, prophecy, where people, the South African people, were longing for his, uh, you know, sermons, for his, uh, you know, speeches, for, for his, uh, uh, you know, the way he dissects the, uh, the gospel. And uh, if it's, uh, somebody, if money is uh, the issue, you just sent him to a place where he's going to make tons and tons of it. Because South Africa it has, um, I don't know, it probably has the largest economy in Africa. I have heard that it's Nigeria, but I doubt that. Because for you to, uh, uh, you know, truly claim to be the super, uh, the, the superpower of Africa, or to have the, the largest economy in Africa, largest doesn't really mean the, the biggest or the most robust. Uh, you have to have good roads. You have to have infrastructure. You have to have world-class uh, medical facilities, world-class universities, world-class uh, research centers. And South Africa has all of this. So that's why I, I, uh, I put South Africa in that category, in that top category as the largest economy in, in uh, Africa. And that's where they sent this young man to. And I've been watching many of the videos that he's been, uh, he's, uh, 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 po uh, most, many of the contents he's been posting on uh, social media. Uh, you know, you see this large crowd of people, uh, South African people, who, who believe him, who believe in his prophetic call, who believe in his, in his anointing, surrounding him, uh, giving him towel to uh, wipe his tear, uh, to wipe his uh, sweat, uh, you know, surrounding him, providing security for him, uh, 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 doing as he says. Because he's, he says, uh, do as I say, prophecy. They are doing as he says. And Africans need to stop dogging each, each We Africans need to stop dogging ourselves out. We need to stop uh, uh, undermining uh, each other. Uh, the the uh, the the minister of uh, religious uh, affairs of, of Zambia, one uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Godfreda Somali, uh, uh, came uh, uh, you know posted a video in which uh, she accused uh, the the prophet of uh, um, um, threatening uh, the uh, those who took who, those who took power from him, those who he gave his power. He's threatening them with, uh, uh, you know, death. He's, he's saying he's going to kill them. So that's what uh, the, the Minister of uh, 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 Religious Affairs, uh, uh, Godfreda Somali, is saying. But the minister did not provide any plausible or persuasive evidence of, uh, the, the pro uh, of, of in anything that the prophet has done that uh, warrants this kind of drastic uh, draconian, uh, 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 draconian policy of uh, uh, you know uh, evicting him or, or out of uh, uh, Zambia, just because he uh, is uh, speaking uh, the mind of God, he is the voice of God. He is saying, "You don't uh, fall, uh, get into the same uh, you know pitfall like many African countries." Uh, you know, Zambia is uh, blessed with copper and many other natural resources. Use your natural resources uh, to uh, uplift the, the list of these of your citizens. Use your copper uh, earnings, your uh, copper dollars 
to build a world-class hospitals, world-class universities, uh, world-class infrastructure, so that your citizens can uh, uh, partake in the largesse that God has blessed you with. That's all he said. He never, uh, uh, he never got himself into uh, politics. He never interfered with uh, uh, the political intrigues and the intricacies of uh, the, the Zambian uh, political space. All he did was uh, speak the voice of God, the mind of God. And then you picked him up and deported him to South Africa. And I know many of you are going to say, well, you're, you're a Jewish leader. What, what, what do you care? Why are you, uh, why are you interfering with a, a, a Christian, uh, you know, controversy? But I've got to tell you, as a Jewish leader, every Igbo man, every Igbo man and woman is Jewish first before being a Messianic uh, Christian. Uh, many Igbos are still in the church, but that does not... Um, uh, preclude them from uh, the, the, the seed of Abraham. Every Igbo man is Jewish by lineage, by background, by, uh, you know, f uh, through family tree, by inheritance. So Igbos can, you know, veer off and go and explore, you know, in a Christian uh, church or in a mosque or in a different other religious cities. But that, uh, that does not take away their Jewish identity. And that's called a, a, a covenant of everlasting priesthood. Every Igbo man is a, is a Jew, first of all. So even though he's a Messianic Jew, uh, the, this pro pro prophet I'm talking about, his name is Andrew Ejimadu. He's, a, uh, he's called Sia Wong. So, so that's why I'm coming to his defense. Because first of all, he's an, he's, he's an Igbo Jew. Even though uh, his call is uh, within the Messianic Jewish uh, sect of Judaism. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter to me whether you are ultra Orthodox, or Orthodox, Reformist, uh, Messianic, um, Progressive. Uh, uh, we are all part of uh, uh, the, the seed of Israel. Or every Igbo man is part of that uh, seed of Abraham. It doesn't matter uh, which uh, um, uh, you know, sect of Judaism that you are. Uh, inclined to uh, uh, to uh, um, assimilate or embrace, and and our people need to quit uh, discriminating against Messianic Jews. Uh, I told you that the first church that was established in Jerusalem was populated by Jews. So J Judaism is not uh, divorced from uh, Christianity. Uh, it's, we still read the same Bible. Even though the Torah is the, the, the first five books of the Old Testament. But it's still in the same Bible. So, so, uh, so that's why, uh, and, and we must uh, develop the competencies to defend our people. To, to assiduously and vigorously defend our people who are in harm's way in foreign land. And they will come back home and uh, caution and, uh, and, and to caution them. So it's not out of place for me to speak. In the defense of this uh, a prophet, it has nothing to do with uh, being orthodox, ultra orthodox, reformist, progressive, messianic Jew. We are all part of the house of Israel, all the Igbos, and he's an Igbo prophet, Igbo Jewish prophet. So I just wanted to get that uh, that uh, question out of the way. And. You know, uh, it's not uh, uncommon in this day and age to see uh, men of God, pastors, rabbis, uh, uh, you know, apostles, um, uh, you know, attempt to uh, caution political leaders about some of the policies uh, they, uh, they articulate and enunciate that will have far-reaching implications for the list of these brethren, for the, the, uh, the indigent. The, the, the widows, the, the poor people, those who are uh, catching the hell. Uh, even though uh, uh, it has been said that uh, uh, there is a, a separation of uh, state and church, but, but not church from state. The, 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 the church is still, the church, the synagogue, the mosque, the Buddhist temple is still the, uh, the bulwark 
against bad governors. The church will still provide uh, the, the, the moral compass for the, the people in political authority to use their, uh, to, to use their, uh, uh, the political agency, to use their uh, political uh, capital to, to leverage on, on the, uh, good governance so that the people can be able to uh, be partakers and benefit from uh, uh, the, the enormous resources that God has blessed every country with. It doesn't have to be a crude oil. It doesn't have to be diamond. It doesn't have to be gold. It could be natural uh, intellectual resources. A lot of countries uh, don't have any natural resources. Uh, I have an email coming in. Uh, but they are endowed with uh, human resources like, like uh, India, like Japan, South Korea. These countries don't have any, um, uh, any known natural resources. But they are leveraging on their intellectual resources. So, so that uh, uh, so you cannot. There's a thin line be, between faith and politics. That's uh, that's uh, church and state. There's a thin line uh, because whatever happens within uh, the political space has far-reaching ramifications for the church because the church has to speak against some of the uh, draconian, uh, drastic, uh, you know, dirty uh, policies. Of, of the government. That's, uh, that's what the likes of uh, Prophet Nathan in the Bible did. He had to walk up to the prophet, that, 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 that the prophet that, that sent the, 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 the husband of a woman uh, he was converting with, sent him to the front line to be killed. And the prophet spoke in parables. And the, 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 the king said, whoever did this to this man, deserves to die and the prophet said it is you prophet prophet nathan was was uh, was proclaiming this to king uh, to king david it is you that sent this man to the front line to be to be killed so 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 uh, uh, historically prophets have always been the bulwark they have always been the bellwether and the benchmark for what is uh, acceptable, uh, uh, you know, political, uh, you know, policy, the what, what political, political, poli uh, political policies that will benefit the uh, uh, the generality of of their population. So you cannot separate church and state, or state from church. Why there is separation of state and church, but not church from state, because the state will continue, the church will continue to uh, provide the, the moral compass upon which the state must articulate its policies. So faith and politics are inextricably intertwined. So it's not out of place for that uh, pro prophet to warn the political leaders of Zambia to, uh, uh, to make amends, to, to change course, because they were uh, veering off and they were very corrupt. They were amassing a lot of wealth which uh, is reminiscent with uh, many uh, you know, uh, political leaders in uh, many African countries, especially uh, on the west coast of Africa. So he was, uh, you know, uh, uh, he was uh, actually advising the political leaders in, uh, in uh, you know, many of the messages often interlaced with a heavy East and uh, Southern African accent. Uh, I guess he has been in those, uh, as, uh, you know, countries for a very long time. So he began to imbibe and embrace some of their, you know, lingos, some of their idiosyncrasies, you know, some of their, you know, mannerisms, you know, you know, you know, the way they speak, the way they articulate their English. And I have no, uh, I have no issue with that. So we Nigerians must learn how to, uh, you know, uh, you know, defend our very own. That prophet, prophet Andrew Ejimad, Sia One, is one of our greatest exports. So as soon as they threw him out of Zambia, South Africa was waiting and they grabbed him. Because they know that man, the man has credibility. He, they know that uh, he is an anointed man of God, speaking the mouth and mind, the speaking the mind of God. God was speaking through him. Because there is a call over his life to go to a distant land and spread the gospel. So that's why I wanted to do this video. 
uh, to uh, you know lend my support and solidarity to him for uh, everything they have put him through. And they levied all kinds of allegations against him. And that's what they usually do when uh, you don't play ball, when you, uh, uh, you don't, uh, 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 you know, be part of the, um, you know, the, the, systema the systematic, um, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, the systematic, um, you know, process of uh, uh, political corruption. They're going to call you out and they're going to try to mess you up. So this is not a new condition for prophets. John the Baptist was beheaded for speaking against uh, uh, the, the king, king who, who took, who took uh, King Herod, who, who usurped, uh, who took over his uh, brother's wife, Herodias. He told him, what you're doing is out of line. You are sleeping outside of, outside of covenant. You as a king, King Herod, you're sleeping outside of covenant by appropriating your, your brother's wife. And uh, when uh, Herodias' daughter Salome danced, uh, you know, like, like a lap dance for the king, the king lost his head, lo lost his, uh, lost his uh, uh, thinking faculty and ordered John the Baptist, Baptist to be beheaded just for speaking the truth. So I'm in solidarity with the prophet. Don't keep asking me, oh, you're wearing a teflon and you're still talking about Christian pastor. Yes, I am. Because he's an Igbo uh, prophet. And every Igbo man is a Jew. We, we are uh, of the seed of Abraham. That's why I'm, I'm coming to his defense. He has nothing to do with tribe, ethnicity, or, or local. Even though they say all politics is local. So um, it is, it's important for political leaders to uh, uh, come to the realization that uh, uh, prophets, rabbis, Jewish leaders, um, you know, Islamic uh, uh, clerics will comment, will call them out when they act out of order, when they act out of uh, norm, when they are acting out of the normative uh, you know, process of leadership. Of governance, you're gonna be called out. People are no longer scared of uh, political leaders. They, they, could it get any worse? The worst that can happen is that you get deported, and they just sent him to a place where he least dreamed of. They sent him to South Africa where he was embraced. So, so the the Zambians made it for evil, but God made it for good. God is turning things around for His own good. Now there is this large following. That is a uh, uh, that uh, this large uh, South African following that is uh, has embraced him, and there's also a, 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 a there's also a story like that in the Bible, where where uh, 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 the, the 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 man the man was rejected by his brothers because they claimed that he was the son of a prostitute. Yeah, they, they, they say you are not going to get any inheritance from our father because you are, the, you are the son of another woman. And they chased him to the edge of town. And then and they, they, this man was endowed with, uh, uh, you know, war, 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 warrior-like uh, warrior -like, uh, gift. He, he had the, the gift from God to be able to demolish his enemies. So they exiled him to the edge of time. His own brothers. And when he got to the age of town, all the people there lined up behind him to give him solidarity, and he became their leader. And when that town uh, was besieged by their enemies, they started looking for him to help him uh, to help them fight off their enemies. So one day, Zambia is going to look for this prophet so that he can come and save them. With his, uh, uh, with his anointing. Uh, it's important for uh, we Africans not to be dismissive or uh, be too harsh with our prophets, our political leaders, our Jewish leaders. Our, uh, no, I'm not talking about political leaders, uh, with, with our religious leaders, Jewish leaders, Christian leaders. Because you never know the kind of call God has over their lives. 
So the the when I when I saw that uh, uh, you know the video, um, of course there are so many of the videos about uh, the travels, the 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 that uh, uh, the you know the trials, the travels uh, that he has been uh, you know grappling with. Uh, it kind of uh, uh, you know broke my heart in a, a thousand unequal pieces. But how can you uh, treat your prophet like that? Uh, and uh, I try to look at it from uh, uh, the, the uh, um, you know, the geographical angle. Could it be that he's uh, uh, in Nigeria? If uh, a Zambian had uh, called out the political elite like he did, could there have been repercussions? Why was this so? Uh, this uh, kind of drastic, draconian, uh, you know, uh, action taken against him? just for advising the government.